All right, let's get to rolling. Let me go on gold first, then we're going to go over some setups we're looking for this morning. Uh, let's take a look at uh, at gold. Hey, Steve. Take a look at gold now. If we look at uh, the first thing we do, if you're new in the trading room, roll over to gold. I'm going to show you a simple technique that we do. The trade happened uh, yesterday also. Uh, I, sent, uh, I sent it out to you guys in the mail. Same exact setup yesterday, same exact setup today. If you want to look over gold, fire over to gold. I'm going to show you this uh, nice little trade we just had here a second ago. And we're going to go over some uh, more setups here in a second. The first thing you look at when you first log in, I got three charts for some of you new traders in the room. If you're a new member or new traders in the room, I got three charts we look at. The far left is a black chart. That's my volume profile is the most important out of all three of these charts. That's these solid blue, green, and red lines. You're going to play off those lines on any market, any futures, stocks, or any currency markets. Okay, so those are my three most important lines I play off of. The second chart is my Fibonacci chart, or what's called my J-signal chart, the white chart. That's for Fibonacci retracements. And I also have developing profile, which is this red and green line. Those are very important to show when the market is tipping its hand to you if it's getting strong or weak. The third chart to the right is my market delta chart. That market delta chart is going to show us when there's a major buy and balance or sell and balance between the bid and the ask. And that's the last chart we're going to look at. We're going to look at that chart only when we're ready to pull the trigger. So it's a left to right analysis, and we set it up that way. Now, this is compatible with any market you trade. It doesn't matter if you trade the S&P 500 futures, NASDAQ 400, I mean uh, S&P 400, NASDAQ futures, Dow minis, trade uh, Russell 2000. It doesn't matter what you look at, indexes, stocks. It's all the same type of setup. Let's go over to gold. We had a recent nice little gold trade to the downside here for nice $500 per one contract trade, a potential risk in 130 bucks just a second ago. How can you get a five to one reward to risk, four to one, six to one? Sometimes we even get 10 to one reward to risk. What we do, the first order of business when you first log in is the market can only do two things on any market you trade. It doesn't matter what market you look at. In the history of the market, you can only do two things. You go vertical or you go sideways. So if we know we can only go vertical, which is trend, up or down, or sideways, which is chop, we need to establish that the first thing we do when we first sit down at our trading desk. So the first thing you do, it doesn't matter what market you look at, you're going to have these set up left to right analysis. You're going to have my black chart, which is volume profile, the big thick lines, my developing profile, the white chart with Fibonacci analysis, and then market delta to the right, which is order and balance for the entry. So you're going to set this up. The first thing you're going to ask yourself, am I in a chop or trend market, meaning am I going vertical? Or am I going sideways? It's very important to understand. The easiest way to do it is we don't use moving averages for support and resistance. We use them for trend direction. I do not use moving averages for crossover systems or worthless support and resistance. It's worthless. You don't know if it's going to stop at the 200, at the 50, at the 20 exponential, at the 13. There's too many moving averages. They're absolutely they're lagging indicators. What we can do though is we can use moving averages. For, for actually trend direction. Since we got established if we are going long or short bias for the morning, I need to know the direction of the trend. The easiest way for you to do that is look at that magenta MA that's built into the black chart. That's the first thing you look at. You're not going to look at the market delta for order of balances, the Fibonacci retracements, even the volume profile. All that stuff means absolutely nothing until I got a um, I got a bias. Once you get your bias, then you're good to go to look for setups. So that's the first order of business is that look at that magenta MA and look at the angle. The angle is key. I'm not so much concerned with this white MA. It's a smaller MA. Not so much concerned like on this gold trade as much as the magenta MA. If the magenta MA is angled, that is your trend bias. If it's angled down, I want to sell retracements. If it's angled up, I want to buy retracements. If it is flat as a pancake going from left to right horizontal, I want to sell the high 
and I want to buy the low on volume profile. So that's very, very important for you to understand. And if you can do that, you're 50% already there on having a winning trade, meaning if I can get the trend retracement down, then I'm already 50% there without using any indicator whatsoever. And that's very important for traders to understand. A lot of traders fail to realize that. Now, here's the key is this, is that around 80 to 85% of our trades that we trade, I educate with, are motive waves, meaning they are with trend. They're retracements with trend. Around 15% of our trades are counter trend trades against trend. The trade I sent you over yesterday, which was a beautiful trade on gold, had two back-to-back -back huge trades right to the exact bar. Those were corrective waves or counter trend trades. That happens around 15% of the time. The trade we're looking at right now before the big pop in the market to the downside right here on these two wave patterns, both of them wave pattern shorts. I'll show you both of them in a second. These are motive waves because they're with five minute trend down. And that's very important if you understand because these are two very easy setups. The reason I asked Earl and some of these other traders that they got in them, because they recognize these setups, they happen over and over again. You're gonna see them thousands and thousands of trades that happen the exact same way based upon these profile charts. Now market profile has been around since 1985 and price profile and volume profile has been around since 1994. So we already know these profiles are very accurate because they dictate where the order flow is. This is not our opinion. This is actually where the order flow is. So as long as I get the trend direction down, right, or up or sideways, if I know the bias, then I'm already there because I can, I can use my, my algorithm that I use to, to dictate where I buy and sell with high probability and very low risk. So what I do is that the Magenta MA is down, which it is, it's down on gold this morning, right? So if I'm down on gold, if I'm going down, I want to sell retracements. I'm not looking to buy these profiles. The volume profile on the black chart, I'm not looking to buy at all. I'm looking for it to break, retest. So another next trade I'm looking for now, and I'll go over this uh, trade that happened a second ago, I'm looking for a break, retest into this value area again, and negative market delta, it's a simple ABC short. I'm looking for a break retest of trend. You're going to see a lot of these ABC patterns like this, and an ABC pattern just happened on this last short. You're going to see a lot of ABCs with trend. If I'm trend down, I sell retracements of trend. Let mark, mark a profile break. Let it retest within two or three ticks. No, no more. It can't get be more away than, uh, it can't be uh, away more than three or plus ticks. It's so accurate, I want to come in within two to three ticks. Then I want to see market delta turn over red and get me in the trade. So if I look on this last trade, here's the next trade possibly coming up. I'll give you guys heads up while I'm talking here. The next possible trade is here into this resistance of profile. Break, retest, LVA, or the control point. But if you look, let's look at the last trade that happened here. If I look at the last trade on my white chart, I got two market profiles. I got this big little red line that comes across, that is high value area, HVA. Then I have LVA, low value area, in green. HVA is high value, low value green. I do not have the control point, which is over here on crude oil, crude, I mean uh, on gold. The big blue line is control point. That's the most volume that the market has traded in this session since midnight, according to my settings but I do not use that on the white chart. I look at the outer edge value areas only on the white chart. Now, how you trade this Fibonacci chart is it's very simple. The black chart is very easy because I look for a break outside of value, a retest of trend, and I'll look to short on this next bounce back up once it gets back up there. It hasn't happened yet. But if you look on the white chart, it gave us a very well-defined trade just like it did yesterday on that $500 move yesterday. Very easy to get into. A lot of you guys posted in the room that you got it. Here is the setup. If I break inside the simple setup on these red and green lines is this. If my trend is down, I want to simply break outside of that green line that shows the market is weakened. I want to retrace up to, I mean, break, break the green line. It can retrace all the way to the black line in the sand. It's allowed to come all the way to this black line. Red Fibonacci dots will start firing off. Once they fire off, you can look for a red market delta short. 
Once you get a red market delta short, there's your simple ABC over here on this white chart. So if you look what happened on this trade that happened at 7.45 this morning, remember I tell traders that you can't, you shouldn't be logging in later. I mean, uh, the, uh, most traders log in between 7.30, 7.45, all the way to 10.30. It does work all day in the New York session, but uh, you should be, at least if you're trading the morning session, log in 7.30, 7.45. But if you look at the break, it broke here. It broke through my low value area. My first retracement was my first red fib dots. My first red fib dots fired off right there at 12.55. Once they fire off, they're allowed to come all the way to this volatility indicator, which is this black line. After you break through the LVA, remember the trend is down, so I'm trying to sell retracements. The trend is down, so I'm selling retracements. I either on the black chart break through my volume profile, my big red, blue, or green line break retest it. It's trying to retest now. The next trade will be a retest of that line. Or on my J signal, the first break through the J signal, the white Fibonacci chart, if it breaks through low value area, this told us, it gave us a heads up, the market is now weak. It got away and below my low value area. So now I look for the first retracement back up. Once I get the first Fibonacci retracement back up, I am good to go for a sell. I'm looking for a sell imbalance. So I'm looking for a sell and bounce once it pops back up, and I'm looking for a, a major sell and bounce. And once you get a sell and bounce, it's going to look like this. You're going to see a major market delta sell on both of these, this one and this one. You're going to see a market delta sell. Let me blow this up so you can see what it looks like. Market delta shows a major order bounce between the bid and the ask. So if I'm coming up into the retracement here or retracement here, I'm looking for a red close of market delta. So this red close, negative 58, anything over 50 on gold is a major order balance. Once this bar closed red, once it closed red, it told me that I can open up the position at the open of the next bar. Now, my hard stop is going to be on any market two ticks above this swing high. You should never break this swing high if your trade is going to work out with my system. After you enter the market on market delta, you should never break two ticks above the swing high. So that was the last setup on this last wave down right there. That was the last setup. See how it never broke the swing high, all right? So it never broke the swing high. And that's very, very important for you to understand. See how it never broke the swing high up here either. See how the swing highs are never broken on these retracements? Swing high was never broken, right? Swing high was never broken. So. Once you understand that, you can use market delta then to fire in the trade once you come on a break retest with these two charts. So what I'm trying to tell you is that I use these two charts, the black and the white chart, to set my trades up. And I use the gray chart for execution. The gray chart, I do not look at first. I don't care about the order of balance between the bid and the ask in the market unless I'm on market profile. In other words, you do not have a trade according to my methodology in this room unless you're on market profile, meaning you break retest profile. And that's as simple as I can make it. You must break retest right here, one of these profiles on one of these two charts before you even execute your trade on market delta. And so you look, these last two setups were just beautiful because that trade right there and this trade right here both produced a beautiful trade. This one was a 55, and this was a 52. They got as low as 49. So this one almost had $300 trade potential, and this one had almost $500 trade potential. Almost six, just below 600. So after your fill, you're looking at around just over five and just over 250 on this last trade per one contract, risking two ticks above the swing high, which is typically 130 bucks. So you risk 130 on this last one at 745, to get around a five, almost $600 trade, risking 130. Last one, around 250, risking 130. Now the key for us is what we wanna do is if the trend is down then, we break retest off of the black chart or we break retest off the J signal chart. The easiest thing to remember on this white chart, I cannot be uh, um, um, very clear enough. You do not even wanna look at all these Fibonacci dots until the market shows its hand. 
on any market you trade, it's got to break inside or outside this profile. There's only two things it can do. If you break outside of HVA, then you can look for the first retracement long. That is a motive wave of trend. Or it can break back inside of HVA, a counter trend trade. That's the only time you can counter trend trade and look for a retracement short. That's the only possible setup you can have off these two lines. So that's how you do the HVA. The LVA is the same way. It broke outside of the LVA. So you look for the first retracement short. There it was. If you break back inside of LVA above this black line, then you look for a counter wave long. If it broke back inside of that, got on the other side of black, I look for the first retracement and I look for long. Then that's the easiest way to trade that white chart because what I'm looking for, Fibonacci analysis is great if you know when to take the correct fibs. Fibonacci analysis will kill you and take you to the woodshed if you're not taking the right fib retracement. So what we do is we know what the correct fib retracement is because we know that it's got to break inside or outside of those red or green lines for the first retracement to give us a high probability trade based upon breaking through profile. So this told us right here, this first break, it told us that that is a major sell imbalance. And it, this second one, it tested right on low value area. This is a beautiful trade here too with negative market delta because it tested right on the LVA with negative market delta of negative 58. So that showed its hand on the J signal. So that's the easiest way to trade the white chart on the J, I call it a J signal chart because it's Fibonacci retracement. If it breaks inside or outside that low value or high value area, that's your green light to look for the first retracement. And that works on all markets. I don't care what market you look at, it's gonna work the same. And then use market delta to fire in the trade, put your stop loss two ticks above the swing high, once it closes red, open the position up, and you scale your first positions at symmetry dots or the first 10 to 12 ticks. And then let the runners run to next profiles. Okay, now if the black chart, what we're looking at, it's simple. I already broke through my volume profiles. My volume profiles, control point here, the most volume is traded in my LVA. So if you play my video at daytradingthefutures.com on the front page, you can see I have tons of videos on there on the same, or tons of markets on the same video where it's the same exact thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for the market to break, which it did, come back up and retest this area. I like to see it retest right in the area of 62%. So I'm looking for this short right at the LVA. So it should come back up according to the volume profile and find resistance between 62 to 76% retracement. That's my next sell area on a break retest right now on gold. So not only did I have this trade that just fired off here, my Fibonacci trade here and here, two, it's two for two on back to back because I only teach you to trade wave three and wave five after you break through LV and HVA. You won't take these Fib dots down here. You won't take these Fibonacci dots down here. They're irrelevant because I only want to take the first retracement. I allow you to take the second one on a wave five. There's a three, there's a five. Now it goes into ABC patterns, which is chop. So the best Fibonacci chart dots to take on this chart is the first break retest inside or outside profile. The best trade to take on the black chart is the first break retest of volume profile, which is your solid lines we're looking at right here. Okay, go over to gold, uh, crude real quick, Gerald, crude. Fire over to crude real quick, Gerald, and we're going to shut this off. Okay, if you look at crude, Gerald, fire over to crude. Let's roll over to crude. Crude's the same way. Now, if you look at crude, what happened this morning, we broke outside. Now, first, look, look at the trend. Now, watch this, how I said that small moving average doesn't mean a lot. Are we in an uptrend or downtrend in crude oil? Look at the angle of the magenta MA. It takes you a half a nanosecond to realize that the market is pushing higher. We're pushing higher. So if we're pushing higher on the magenta MA is pushing higher, then I can buy break retest on red, blue, or green volume profile, or my J signal chart, look how it tips its hand like it did on gold. Look how it tips its hand. It got outside of HVA. That shows there's major strength in the market. So what do you do? You look for the first retracement back down, simple ABC pattern, break, 
not hard. You see a lot of trades like this. Retest, first retracement. My Fibonacci dots start firing. Now, once these blue fib dots start firing on any market, look at your market delta. Watch it. Watch market delta. Here's what market delta was doing. Look, when the blue Fibonacci dots were firing off, red market delta, red sellers, 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 boom. Green buy imbalance. So this was a buy 784. The last setup on crude was a buy of 784. Once this green bar closes, you open it up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks below the swing low. We don't risk more than two ticks on any market, any index, any stock, any currency that you trade off market delta. You don't risk more than we have. We have contained risk. Every trade we trade, it's contained risk. Very low risk on all the trades. We want to try and get low risk on all trades. So the Fibonacci dots fired. There's my green market delta 784. The trend is up. We know to buy retracements. Your entries, you open up the next green bar, stop loss two ticks below the swing low. Now what's your targets? Your targets are going to be the first push, which is 10 to 12 ticks, most traders do. But if you hit your symmetry dots, what's called symmetry dots on this white chart, that's why I use them for, these blue for sells, red for buys. If you hit your symmetry dots within two ticks, you should scale 50% of your position at the first push of symmetry dots. So your entry was here on market delta, very simple on crude, the last trade, it's one for one this morning. Gold is two for two this morning off my methodology. So if you look at that, that is the first buy retracement. We've had no other buy retracements after 7 o'clock this morning with market delta. This has been the only trade we had so far. Same way with gold. We've only had two sell retracements. So if you look at it, we have to make sure we do 784, get in, open up. Then our targets can be the first set of symmetry dots or the first push, which is 12 ticks. 10 to 12 ticks. All right, so look how I'm going to put gold right beside see the difference in gold and crude i'll put it beside each other look at the big difference this is a buy retracement see how it broke outside this broke outside of hva market got strong take first retracement market got along look how it pop this one broke below lva what happened the market got weak take the first retracement red fibonacci dot see that Red dots will only fire off if you're below the black line. Blue Fibonacci dots will only fire above this black line. However, we don't trade all Fibonacci dots. We only want to look for the ones that first break outside of this red line or break below this green line. That's going to be your first order of business to take it short or long. So we had the first break retest crude. One for one, first break retest gold, first, second break retest gold, based upon letting market profile fire us in the trade.